you could change any choice you have ever made, would you? You can always make another choice and change the course of your success. Everyone has the potency to make inspired choices. Get ready to listen, share, and experience the creativity that is you. Now, here is the host of the Inspired Choices Show, business optimization expert, Christine McIver. Yes, that's me. Hey, everybody. It's Christine McIver. I hope you are ready for a dynamic show tonight because I am revved up and ready to go. You know what? Tonight, we're going to be talking all about taking bold action for business expansion. And you know what? If you are here, if you are listening, if you are watching, if you are listening or watching the replay, I'm going to challenge you tonight. And I want to see who is ready to be challenged. So if you are watching us live, I want you to put pick me. Or if you are watching the replay, I want you to say pick me. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Because you know what? You've got to step in. You've got to claim it. If you are ready for growth expansion, you've got to claim it to become bold. So before we get into the show, I want to tell you a little bit about who I am. If this is the first time you're here, I am a business optimization coach. I am also the CEO of Inspired Choices Network. I am someone who loves to create. I love to work with business owners. I love to work with entrepreneurs. I love to work with creatives who really have the the desire to create, the desire to really expand and get their message out in the world, but yet they don't know the hows. They maybe are overwhelmed with technology or they're afraid. Actually, it's usually the last one. They're more afraid of themselves stepping out into the world and really claiming their space Uh, on the global platform, on the global market than anything else. You know, each and every one of us comes to this world with a message. We all come to this world with a purpose deep inside of us. And it really takes us stepping out of our comfort zone to really step into the brilliance and take advantage of all the opportunities that are out there. When you work with me as one of my clients, I am going to challenge you. I'm going to cheerlead you forward. I'm going to guide you. But most of all, I'm going to poke you. I am going to poke you forward because you know what? We can play small for ourselves so, so easily. We can talk ourselves out of it so, so easily. And if you claim that you wish to move forward and really grow, I'm going to make that happen. So if you're interested in really stepping forward with someone who has both the knowledge and the years of business sense and the ability to really challenge you and see where you need to be challenged, reach out to me. My email is christine at inspiredchoices.ca. You, of course, can message me on all the social media platforms, or you can find me here at Inspired Choices Network. So, That's all about me. There's lots more to learn about me, but let's jump into tonight's show. So tonight we are talking all about taking bold action for business expansion. Oh my gosh. Taking bold action for business expansion. Desiring your business to expand and grow requires bold action. Having you Have you been playing it safe, trying not to take too many risks so you don't make a huge mistake? Playing it safe can be comfortable and easy, right? Who doesn't want comfort? Who doesn't want ease? We all are desiring, we're reaching for things in our lives, in our relationships, creating homes to create comfort. But comfort in business is actually something that can hold you back and it can actually destroy your business. And it's unfortunate, but when you really acknowledge that being uncomfortable is you growing, that that can be a gift, that's a huge game changer. So ask yourself, are you ready, really at ease if your business isn't growing? You know, people want ease in their business, but if you're not growing, you've got to acknowledge, really tap in, am I really at ease? 
you're likely not at ease. You're likely worrying about your business supporting your financial needs or giving you the exposure you truly desire. Do you desire to be seen? Do you desire to be heard? Do you desire to be discovered? And do you desire for people to reach out and say, I want to work with you. I want to hire you. Yes, what you're doing in the world is really inspiring to me. That is what I'm looking for. If you are ready for this, I really want you to join me. Join us live in the chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. And if you're listening in the replay, I want you to send me an email and tell me what you are really desiring about growing in your business, because this, this is a game changer. And when you get that, you know what? You've set the stage for moving forward. So let's talk about this. A lot of people, you know, set up their own business. In fact, I read a fabulous statistic today, 42% of all business owners are women. Isn't that fantastic? And we are really changing the landscape of businesses, not just small businesses, but all businesses, because we bring different energy to the table and we inspire and challenge men to really pay attention to some of the things that we know are incredibly important. At the downside with women, and I know this myself as well, I've been there, the downside with women is we have been taught for centuries and centuries to stay in our place, to really step forward only when we're 100% positive of what we know. We are also taught to, you know, not get in front of or try to challenge a man, right? Now, I'm not putting men down. I like men. I love men in business. But for women, we have not been taught to be bold. And we've not been taught that it's okay to step forward. It's okay to really reach for something big. Our examples of people being bold are men, right? And so it takes a, sometimes it takes years for women in their own business to step up and really be bold. And that needs to change. And it doesn't need to be women stepping up and being angry. Bold does not mean angry. Bold does not mean push. Bold means really to step outside of that comfort zone that you have and reach big, really, really, really reach big. So if you are willing to say, you know what, I want more, I desire more, and I'm choosing it. So wanting it is one thing, but saying I choose it That's talking to yourself. I'm choosing it. And you challenge yourself each and every day to step up and really be bold. How many of you have been going along and trying to have people actually like you with what you are doing and wanting to be accepted by people, thinking that that is the way to have people choose you? Now, I'm not suggesting to be unkind. I'm not suggesting to be abrasive. But I am suggesting that when you're putting your focus on trying to make other people happy and make sure you're doing things to make other people happy so that they will choose you, you're going to miss the mark. You're going to miss the real growth and expansion that your business is asking for. The biggest thing that is holding every single solitary business owner entrepreneur, person that is wanting to really be seen and heard in the world, the biggest thing that is holding them back is themselves. It's not the opportunities because we've never had more opportunities in the world than we have today. It's not the money because if you need the money, and I have been challenged with this myself, I've challenged other people in business, if you need money, you will get it. It's a matter of priority. I'll tell you a secret. I'll tell you a little story. Uh, A number of years ago, I had a friend who traveled a great deal. And I remember saying to her, oh, gosh, I would love to be able to travel. I just don't have the money. How many of you have said that, right? And she, without even a beat, she said to me, well, it's obviously not a priority for you. Like I was like, (laughs) I was not happy. I was like, wow, 
how dare you say such a thing to me, right? She challenged my belief system. And she was right. I wasn't making it a priority. If something is a priority in your life, you're going to make it happen. If something is urgent, if you need money, you will find the money. If you have, I, I just want to put it in this context. If you ha- you're um, a parent or if you are an aunt or an uncle and a loved one gets sick, and they need $10,000 immediately for an operation. They need $10,000 for something for their health. You will move heaven and earth to make it happen. You will, because you value that person. And having something bad happen to that person is not acceptable for you. I have seen it happen with people again and again. They will do whatever it takes to step up for someone else. It's unfortunate that we don't have that same conviction for ourselves. It's really a shame that we don't make our dreams and our desires that important that we will do whatever it takes to make it happen. And you know what? If I'm talking to you, if you can recognize yourself in my stories, I want you to lean in even more. And I want you to write now, write down the first thing that comes to your head. What's going to happen if I challenge myself? What's going to happen? We have all these imaginary worries and fears in our minds. And we're looking outside of ourselves constantly at what other people are going to think if we really choose something big. We're thinking about everyone else. And at the end of the day and at the end of your life, It's not anybody else that matters. It's you that matters. What would happen if you honestly challenged yourself to step up? What's going to happen? Are you going to fail? What? Will you learn something? What's going to happen if you ask someone, would you like to work with me? What's going to happen if they say no? Are you going to perish? I can tell you, I'm going to tell you two situations, okay? First situation is when I um, first started taking my coaching program, one of the things that we had to do is we had to coach people. Um, We had uh, the coaching program was a five-month program, and every Saturday night, once a month, we had to coach someone. So we had to contact people and ask them, could I coach you for my program? And I was challenged the very first weekend For me to ask that individual that uh, volunteered, said yes to volunteer and be one of my coaching clients for the training. And I was challenged to ask her if she would be my client. And I remember thinking about this that day and just being in a panic all day long, all day long. And I remember coaching her on the phone. And, you know, I probably wasn't 100% present because I was so worried about asking that question. And when it came to that moment, I know I had a lump in my throat. I was worried about saying it. And I said it. I said it. And then it felt like those couple of seconds between when I said it and when she responded, it felt like an eternity. I was so worried about her response. And she just, she started asking me questions. She said, well, what would that look like? And how much would it be? And and I said these things. And I, I right away jumped to assumptions that anything I said, she was going to have a negative response to. Just, it was in my head, right? It wasn't a reality. It was what was in my head. She said yes. She was my first client that worked with me. And if I hadn't had the nerve to step up and do it despite my worry, despite how nervous I was, despite how I thought she was going to think I was, you know, all that. (laughs) I don't know where I would be. Truly, we have an opportunity to take risks. And the only risk, the biggest risks are really with ourselves and getting out of our own way. We have an opportunity to take those risks or to stay in our comfort zone. Are you willing to come out of your comfort zone? 
Can I get a hell yes on that? I am willing to come out of my comfort zone. I've been coming out of my comfort zone the entire time I've been in business. And I have freaked myself out time and time and time again. And the results have been absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I want you to remember this. Before we go to break, I want to tell you this. If there is something on your heart that you desire, if there is something you are dreaming about, I want you to know this for a fact. That is available to you. It is available to you. So to get you from where you are now to what it is that you desire, that space is your comfort zone within yourself. You've got the ability because you're dreaming about it. You have got the opportunity because you've been thinking about it. There are so many possibilities available. You've got to be willing to step into yourself and really step up to the table and be the amazingness that you desire. And the very cool thing is, whatever you're desiring, there are people that are out there looking for it. They may not know what they're looking for. But there are, because until those energies are actually desired in the world, it doesn't actually start to come through us, which is a very cool thing when you get your head around this. All right. We are up to our first break of the show. You are listening to Inspired Choices. I'm your host, Christy McIver, here on the Inspired Choices Network. Don't go away. We are just getting started. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices based on our past experiences or based on what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back. She brings all her expertise to every show. Are you ready to create and live the life you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Oh my gosh, here we are, my friends, another show where I'm challenging you, and I know that you're here for it because you're looking to have things change in your life. Really learning to be bold and to step out into an area where you have never been willing to step before is a challenge. And that's where the rewards lie as well. So if you're writing any notes down, I want you to write this question down. And I want you to spend some time pondering it. And if you know right away, write the answer down. But here's my question. If you were to choose it, what would be a bold action for you in your business? If you were to choose it, what would be a bold action for you to choose it? So for me, when I first started my business, actually asking someone to work with me was a bold step. And why was it bold? It doesn't sound like a really bold thing to do. But where I was in that moment in my life and in my business is I was at the very beginning stages. So these are some of the first steps, right? And so that was a bold step for me to actually ask someone to work with me. And then as things moved forward in in my business, as my business evolved, 
I kept challenging myself. And one of the questions that I often ask myself, and sometimes I'm not happy that I do because I can actually flip myself out, is the questions I will ask is, what else? What else? What else? And those amazing opportunities start to present themselves. Those ideas, those desires start to come through me. I see things that are going on in the world and I'm like, yes, I will choose that even when I'm really freaked out. If you've been a listener of this show, you've probably heard this story before, but it really is important for you to get it tonight. The very first time I ever did a a radio show, it was a live radio show um, when I first started back in 2011. Um, I actually cried for the first 15 minutes of that show. I was grateful. I was excited. I was in so much nervousness. I really was out of my comfort zone. I was out of my depth of understanding what I was doing. Uh, My mind was flipping out. It didn't know which direction to go in. My heart was exploding because I knew that I was taking a bold step. And yet everything was like this crazy confusion going on within me. And I was crying. I was crying and trying to talk while I was crying. And, you know, I honestly thought in that moment, what if I just hang What if I just hang up? What if I just like hang up? I didn't. I did not hang up. But I'm telling you that went through my mind because I was so uncomfortable. Right. Have you ever stepped into something and just thought, what if I just run away? Right. We have that desire it's built within us when we're scared you know that fight or flight we have that within us to run away and that is you know good if you know we're being attacked by a bear but it's not so good when we're trying to challenge ourselves so I want you to recognize that I want you to recognize that that feeling that experience that you have within yourself when you are really expanding out that is there to save your life not to support you to grow and really step out So, you know, the great thing about it for me was when I did that and I continued to move forward through that show and I finished it, I honestly thought at the end of that show, oh, my God, I'm terrible at this. I can never do this again. Well, we all know that's not true. (laughs) But, you know, I really thought about this and I thought, what? No, I I no, I got to I got to keep going. There was a part of me that was didn't want to be embarrassed that I gave up. And and that part about feeling shame if I gave up or embarrassed or whatever that is, you know, trying to quote unquote save face saying that I could do something. That's a good thing. That actually challenges me to keep going and keep going. And when you take bold action, Because you're not in your comfort zone, because you are really stepping out there and maybe speaking to things that you've never spoken to before or saying, you know, kind of coming out from behind your shell and and really stepping out there. A lot of us will want to run away. A lot of us will think, oh, my God, people are going to judge me. They're going to think I'm crazy. Like, oh, my God, what am I doing? And and it will be a natural response to want to run and hide because we're worried about what everybody else thinks. We're worried about people thinking we are crazy. We're ridiculous. Like, who do you think you are? You know, I grew up in a very small little village and the people that I grew up with and even the job that I left to start my own business, they started looking at me sideways. Like, are you all right? Like, what are you doing? And they really doubted me a lot. And they really were judging me because I was doing something different. I was stepping out behind my comfort zone. And maybe they were actually picking up on how uncomfortable I was. Maybe they were picking up on that. Or maybe, just maybe, I challenged them because they've been in their comfort zone so long. And they were looking at me going, oh, my God, look at what she's doing. Um, just a few months ago, actually, my boss from that last job contacted me and said, I'm really proud of you, what you're doing. Now, he wasn't somebody that would not have been proud of me, but probably looked at me at the time and thought I was a little crazy. I walked away from a human resources job. I was making good money. I was doing lots of great things, but I was not happy. And, you know, one of the great things 
about our emotions is our emotions actually help to move us in and out of the directions where we are supposed to be fulfilling our greatest desires, our greatest, you know, reasons for being here in this, in these bodies on this planet. And so when I wasn't unhappy and it got worse and worse and worse to the point that I had a mental breakdown, it was actually in hindsight, it was a breakthrough because I came out of the should paradigm of my reality and I started to really challenge myself to be the person that I desired to be. I have always desired to be out speaking. I've always desired to be that person that was inspiring other people. I've always desired to be someone that people looked to and they really you know, confided in and they trusted. I've always always desired that but I was too afraid to really step up and speak into it and when I started my own business and I really started to move into that direction I was scared but there was a part of me inside that was going yes yes this is the direction this is where we're going to and since then really stepping into each and every opportunity with the, the the mindset of here we go, here we go. I'm scared, but I'm choosing it. I can't wait to feel confident in what I'm going to do. But right now I'm scared and that's OK. I can keep choosing and I can keep choosing. Now, there's a difference between being bold and doing things that are really going to blow up your world, right? When you're challenging yourself to be more tomorrow than you were yesterday, that's bold. When you are stepping into a world where maybe there's j danger or maybe that you are um, going to blow up your business or you're going to, you know, I don't know, take you into a direction that is going to be harmful to you, there's a very big difference. But most people aren't go all going down that path. Most people are worrying that that's the path they're going to go down when they're not willing to be bold. And being bold is actually saying yes to those deep secrets that are within you. I want you to ask yourself the question, if I was being bold and I chose that thing that's really on my heart that I haven't shared with anybody, what's the worst thing that could happen? What is the worst thing that could happen, my friends? You've got to want to be really up, up front with yourself. You've got to want to be interesting as well as challenging, because here's the thing. If you are playing in the comfort zone and you are continuing again and again and again to do what it is that, you know, just challenges you just a little bit, you know, maybe you're somebody who um, you're not great at talking to people. So you're you're hiding behind emails. Right. Or maybe you're somebody that, you know, you're on social media, you really aren't great at interacting with people. So you just give them a little like there. You won't put any com uh, comments down. Or maybe you're somebody that you want to coach other people, you want to sell your products and your services, but you're not willing to ask for the sales. So in, in that case, you'll just send out a newsletter and you'll send out a newsletter and you'll hope that somebody will respond in a positive way to that. My friends, you've got to go beyond that. So what you're doing right now and I want you to really look at this, is what you're doing right now really providing you not only with the financial security you desire, but is it actually giving you the rush of excitement and sometimes a challenge? If it's not giving you the rush of excitement, you're holding back. You're holding back. And what benefit is there for you if you're holding back? What are you going to get if you stay back and you don't listen to those desires within you you know we all know those sayings you know you get to the end of your life and you don't want to have regrets well what if you get to the end of the year and you have regrets what if you get to the end of the month and you have regrets you still have an opportunity to change this but time goes quickly time goes so so fast i mean i can't believe it in a blink of an eye I have been in business now for 15 years and I can remember, I can remember so clearly having that first conversation in my business. It goes incredibly quickly. 
And things can change so, so fast. If you don't take the opportunity to be bold, if you don't take the opportunity to step out there and claim your space in the world and show your brilliance, show up and challenge yourself, the opportunities are going to go by. And then what? And then what? I remember when I first started and, you know, I did have these desires and I wasn't stepping forward as much as I really, really should have back then. And I would watch other people when they were doing it. And, you know, what started to happen. And I wonder if this is happening with you is I started to get angry and I started I was mad at those people that were choosing it and I wasn't choosing it, which is insane. But we do this right we have this anger and we're resentment that can come up and it's like, why is she doing it? And I'm not doing it. Right. I can remember my ego going, I'm smarter than she is. Like, what the heck? How come she's doing it? And I'm not doing it. Well, the only reason she was doing it or they were doing it was because they were choosing it and I wasn't choosing it. That's the only difference between you succeeding and someone else succeeding is they're choosing it. They're willing to be laughed at. They're willing for people to turn a, corner eye at them and go what are you doing they are willing to take the risk and be bold they're willing to have whatever occurs to occur so that they can fulfill what's deeply in their heart when we get back from this next commercial I'm going to talk about what's deeply in your heart we're going to get down to the bear tactics with that because until you are really clear with that you're not going to have the momentum to be bold. You are listening to Inspired Choices. I'm your host, Christy McIver, here on the Inspired Choices Network. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices based on our past experiences or based on what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back. She brings all her expertise to every show. Are you ready to create and live the life you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert, Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. All right, my friends, thank you so much for being here. If you're just joining us, we're talking about being bold and really stepping out to grow your business. You got to go back and listen to the first two segments because we dove deep into really what's occurring in that area if you're not stepping out and being bold. I have someone in the chat room that made a comment and she said, I really have trouble asking someone to work with me. And who doesn't? I think most people probably feel that way at some time or another in their business. And what I said to her is it is time to challenge yourself with asking people to work with you. What is going to happen if they say no? What's going to happen? Now, I can tell you what I experienced when I thought about people saying no is I'm going to look silly. I'm going to feel embarrassed. I'm going to want to run and hide. Okay. All right, that's a human experience. That's a human response. Nobody likes to be told no. But you got a 50-50 chance of them saying yes. And here's the thing that I learned in sales a long time ago. I'm going to tell you this. 
most people, nine times out of 10, they're going to ask you a question. They're going to ask you a question, just like my first client did. And you know what happens? You know what that means, actually, when somebody asks you a question, when you ask them to work with you or to buy from you? What that means is they need more information. It's not a no. Until someone says, no, Christine, I do not want to work with you. It's a yes, because they really just need more information. They don't know what that looks like. Really. Absolutely, Karen. Truly, nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad will happen to you. You know, at the very least, if this is not something that you do on a regular basis, you're going to grow that muscle of asking that question. But what's going to happen if you don't ask? What's going to happen if you don't step up and you don't follow your heart's desires? What's going to happen? Well, I'm going to tell you what's likely going to happen. You're likely going to start to get depressed. You're likely going to start to feel incompetent. You're likely going to start to lose money because your business may not be able to grow if you don't continue to have growth opportunities come to you. And eventually, you're probably going to have to close shop and you're probably going to need to, you know, get a job. I can tell you, I was at that place um, Let's see, I was about five years into my business. There's a lot of changes that have been going on, and that's normal. I want you to understand that. This is normal. If you're someone, especially someone who is doing uh, heart-centered work, someone that is challenging yourself to grow, continuously grow, your business is going to change. And that means that clients are going to leave, but new clients are going to come in who match your energy. So I just want you to be prepared for that. But I got to a place where... Um, honestly, business was just about completely down. It was com just about completely shut down. And I was actually asked um, if I'd ever thought about producing on the radio shows. And it was either lean in and ask some questions about that and possibly do that or go and get a job at Tim Hortons or McDonald's. That's where I was at. And it was a very, very difficult place. But it was so divinely designed because it forced me to drop my judgment about what it meant. It forced me to look in a new direction. So all things that are really, really awful, they they oftentimes produce the best outcome because you've decided how you're supposed to do your business. You've decided what direction you're supposed to go in. But guess what? oftentimes the divine, the universe has a bigger plan for you. And so the universe did have a bigger plan for me. And I had actually done a, um, a radio show with someone I was in partnership with for a year. That partnership un unfortunately ended badly. And so when that radio show was done, I was done. I never wanted to do radio again. I was like, no way, go away. This was terrible. It was a terrible experience. But this opportunity came yet again for me to look in this direction and look if I hadn't been willing and probably been at the last penny in my wallet, I probably wouldn't have chosen to produce. I probably wouldn't have chosen to go in this direction. And all these years later, Inspired Choices Network wouldn't exist. All of these speakers that are hosts, have, who have been hosts, all of the guests who have been on our platform, all of these amazing creations wouldn't be in existence if that opportunity and that challenging experience hadn't been presented to me. So I want you to imagine that if you would get out of your own way and you would really be willing to allow the universe to bring you into a new area, I want you to imagine that, and I want you to know that the universe has your back 100%. But until, you know, we're so crazy because we want to see it mapped out. We want it laid out and we want it to go exactly the way that we've decided it should go. Right. What do they say? Um, make you want to make God laugh. Tell them your plan. Right. Tell them your plan. Like it's so, so true. And it's so funny to say that because I'm a planner. I'm somebody that lays it out all the time. And yet I've gotten to a great place of learning to challenge myself and be open and be willing to grow and be bold. So how do we get to that place of being bold? We don't just jump out there. 
there has to be some kind of intrinsic motivation, right? We need to be inspired. And how do we get inspired? First, we have to connect in with ourselves. We have to connect in with the spirit within us. And when we connect into this with the spirit within us, we save time, take time to really listen to our heart's desires. Um, a number of years ago, I did a program called Up Your Ask. And you're right, it was Ask. <laughs> and that program we did, um, I did it twice. And it was 100 days straight of writing down 10 things that we desired. And that challenged us. It was difficult to come up with more than 10 things and to do that every single day. And we kept doing it and kept doing it. But what that had us do was go from beyond the surface desires down deep into our soul, really connect in with the things that lit us up and get us complete get us really connected to ourselves. When we talk about our desires, we, we're really talking about the surface desires. We're talking oftentimes about the um, monetary things that we desire. There's no re, there's no, nothing wrong with desiring monetary things. Absolutely, we live in a monetary world. That is part of our existence. But that's oftentimes something that we are willing to, um, we are willing to look at. But we're oftentimes not willing to look at the deeper things. And so what I really want to challenge you with is really digging deep. And in order to dig deep, you've got to do this on a consistent basis. So who here is willing to up their own ask to get in touch with their deep desires? And in order to do this, I want to challenge you to write down 10 things every single day, at least for the next 10 days. Don't stop. Do it every single day for 10 days and be willing to ask for outrageous things, outrageous things. One of my outrageous things is to own a jet. I want to own a jet. I want on the side of the jet. I want it to say Inspired Choices Network. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be amazing? I see that jet. I walk up the those steps on that jet. I see what it's going to be like inside and I can lay down and rest while we fly across the world. I mean, that's a huge desire of mine. And some of you may say you're crazy, Christine, and you may be laughing, but that is one of my desires. But between where I am today and where I am, where I desire to go with that jet, there's a lot of other things that I desire. I desire Desire for this network to be so amazingly robust that every single solitary host on this platform is just giggling every day knowing that they're connected to this network and it is supporting them and it is assisting them to get their great, big, amazing, bold desires out into the world. I desire for people to be in such a level of joy and excitement about their brilliance that it changes not only their world, but the world of people that they touch. I have huge, huge, huge desires. I have desires to be on a stage with a thousand people and they know who I am and they know my content and I'm there to inspire them. I have had this desire to inspire people since I was a very little girl. And you know what? I'm not hiding it anymore. I want people people to know that that's on my heart. If that's on my heart, it's available to me. What is on your heart? You've got to get connected to. You must spend time really looking deeply at what is on your heart. And how do you get deeply with what's on your heart? Is you start to step out and be bold again and again and again. At no time in my life did I ever write down I wanted to be on TV. That was never in my, it never came up. And when that opportunity presented itself, I was like, I was like a little girl. I was giggling. I was partially afraid and I was partially blown away. I'm like, oh my God, is this really, really going to happen? And now today when I turn on the TV and I can see my show and I can see my other host shows on the TV, I'm like, this little girl from this little village in Southwestern Ontario did that. I did that. Nobody else did that. I did that because I was willing to be bold. If I can do this, 
I swear you can do what's on your heart, but you've got to get so in touch with that before you can step out into the world and take the bold actions because you've got to have that spirit burning up inside of you that it wants to get there no matter what. You're going to have days when it's really, really difficult. You're going to have days when you're ready to throw in the towel. If you don't have those deep desires in your heart known to you, you may give up and you may miss the greatest thing in the world. And what a shame that would be. All right, we are up to our last break of the show. Oh my gosh, this has gone so, so quickly, which I often say because I love doing these shows. My friends, stick around. We're going to wrap everything up when we come back from this break. You're listening to Inspired Choices. I'm your host, Christine McIver. Reach out to me. Send me an email, Christine, at inspiredchoices.ca. And for the first 10 people that send me a list of their first 10 things that they have a deep desire on, you're going to get a special gift from me. So. Stick around. We will be right back after this commercial break. Many of us make choices based on our past experiences or based on what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join the Inspired Choices show with business optimization expert Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know but may not choose that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back. She brings all her expertise to every show. Are you ready to create and live the life you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Wow, 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 wow. So tell me, from when you started listening to this show to now, has that bold become easier? The idea of being bold, has it become easier to actually envision yourself choosing it? Has it become something that is a hell yes, I have to, I can't not do this, right? When you get in touch with what's in your heart, when you really get in touch deeply with what you must accomplish in this life, the bold doesn't stop you. It challenges you. When you move from stop to a challenge and you've got that burning desire within you that you keep connecting with every single solitary day, you don't give up. So you have to know your desire or you may give up. I want to repeat that. You must know your desire or you may give up. If you're just looking outside of yourself, and you're looking at the impossibilities of what other people are doing that you've decided you can't do, you're not going to really step into that. You've got to first start within. What are the desires on your heart? And then when you know the desires on your heart, I want you to start asking yourself this question every single day. What's it going to take for me to get to my desires? What's it going to take? And just like magic, I'm telling you, the universe is going to start showing up for you. The universe is going to start putting these amazing opportunities in front of you. And you've got to be willing to not shut down the opportunities. You've got to be willing to entertain the idea even when you're scared. You've got to be willing to take a risk. And the only risk is really 
yourself, challenging yourself to step out into the world in a completely new and exciting way. This doesn't mean you have to stop doing what you're doing, but you got to be willing to turn it up. Um, Karen says, knowing my desire has been very elusive and is slow, slowly being seen. Karen, let me ask you this question. Have you been willing to ask what your desires are? You know what? A lot of us don't even want to know our desires. And I think the reason for that is because we're afraid that once we know our desires, we can't unknow it. And when we can't unknow our desires, then we're going to have to take action. So many of us just want to stay in that comfort zone. We want to stay doing the same job every day, every day, just getting along to get along, right? You didn't come here to get along to get along. You came into this world to make a mark, to make a difference, to show up, to bring your brilliance, your expertise to the world. Are you willing to challenge yourself so you can dig deep into yourself to actually have that come forth? You, my friend, are a gift to the world. But until you challenge yourself, until you get so connected with what's on your heart, you are not going to step out there bold and bring to the world what it is needing right now. There are so many amazing examples of people in the world who have stepped out of their comfort zone and who have stepped up doing amazing, brilliant, really audacious things that has brought them into the world in a whole new way. And we oftentimes will look at these people and think, well, it's easy for them. But when you know their backstory, it wasn't easy for them. They had to challenge themselves. So we've got to get there. We've got to get there deeply within ourselves and be willing to say yes, be willing to challenge ourselves. You know, one of the best ways to challenge yourself is to share your big desires with someone, to have a coach who's going to challenge you to get there. Because guess what? We will talk ourselves out of it again and again and again. I have three coaches that work with me and they challenge me and they inspire me and they really do help me to move in the directions of my desires. And I, when I'm talking to them, my desires are constantly in front of me because I'm talking about those desires. And where there's a challenge, they help me to move through it. And they also believe in me. They believe in me. So they not only are really moving me forward, but they're also my cheerleaders. When you have a coach that is both your cheerleader and your challenger, you can't fail. You absolutely can't fail. You're actually stacking the deck in your favor. Get yourself a coach. Don't stop getting having a coach in your life. A coach will be the difference between you succeeding at your desires or you giving up. So, my friends, if this has spoken to you today, I would really love to have an email from you, christine at inspiredchoices.ca. We are going to have another amazing show for you next week, and I would love for you to join us live. I would love for you to post your questions in the chat room. I would love you to share what you're experiencing, and I would love for you to be willing to show up even more. If you're someone that wants to bring your voice to the world, if you're someone that really wants to step out onto the stage under the global stage and have a, an entirely new experience, you know, we're, reach out to me. We are looking for dynamic people who want to bring their voice to this platform and uh, really take advantage of this amazing team that we work with. Next week, my show is Strategic Actions or Flying by the Sea of Your Pants. <laughs> yeah, I've absolutely done that. <laughs> I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that have been here. Thank you so much for all of your support in the chat room and all of you messaging me. This has been an exciting event tonight, and I can't wait to see what next week happens, what next week brings. You know what? Let's keep being bold. Let's keep choosing to step out there and challenge ourselves because the world is looking for it. The world is desiring it, and the world deserves to have your brilliance. Let's leave this planet with no regrets. Let's leave this planet with so much joy in our heart that we chose so much that we changed not only our world but the world around us thank you ever so much each and every one of you for be, for being here i want you to get bold i want you to tap into your heart's desire and i want you to remember this 
you can always make another choice. It's in your opportunities. Until next week. Bye for now, Thank my friends. Thank you for choosing to listen to Inspired Choices Show. Christine McIver will return next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, be willing to choose what you really desire. This is your life, making the choices that bring you all that you desire.